Today we held the ASLD uh, Clinical Symposium uh, to discuss uh, HCV management and treatment recommendations in 2015. We took specific uh, uh, pains to go into great detail into three specific populations that have historically been viewed as difficult to treat. We should not have uh, any hesitation to think about treating patients uh, in what we considered once special populations. HCV, HIV co-infection, patients who have undergone liver transplantation, even patients with decompensated liver disease, and patients with kidney failure. Well, I'm an interim fellow in gastroenterology, so I'm currently a resident, a third-year resident. Um, so for me, it was kind of more of like, you know, just the general treatment regimens that I could take away. I think the first two presenters did a really good job of summarizing, like, you know, really what the current treatment algorithms are that are available. Um, and for the duration, the de you know, depending on the type of, like, fibrosis stage that you have, compensate, decompensate, I thought that was really helpful. I also thought it was helpful to learn that, you know, for HIV co-infected patients, that we really should be trying, like, targeting, like, a 12-week course of treatment versus, you know, potential eight week course of treatment. I thought that was like a nice gem that I'll take away going forward as well. Sort of looking at uh, interactions between the um, antiretrovirals that patients are on, um, that there actually are ways to treat even with those, with our current um, HCV drugs. I thought that was very interesting. I think that uh, I tend to think of HIV patients that are on complex regimens and so it's sort of a population that you can't really treat, but um, that was enlightening. The number one nugget that I took away from today's session was how important it is to screen the HIV patients for hepatitis C at the same time that they come to you for a diagnosis initially. I think it's important because it dictates what management you proceed with and it dictates kind of what risk factors they have. I, I think that, that the field is so rapidly moving uh, that it's going to be very important for, for folks to, to sort of keep, keep updated through fora just like, like this one uh, as well as uh, through a, a regular, I think, check-in with the hcvguidelines.org website, which is a, a, uh, is a guidance document prepared on a real-time basis by ASLD uh, and IDSA.